Hello and welcome back. We are going to look at another design using an acrylic template and it's with Quilters Rules Chain Template, the square chain. This is great for making squares but also making zigzags. So let's look at today's design. I'm going to switch to the overhead camera. going to stitch this fun zigzag design using the quilters rule chain template. You may notice that the template has one, two, three, four different sizes. These sizes can make this zigzag design small, medium, large and even a larger zigzag. You notice that there are some lines on the template. These lines indicate the needle position. When our ruler foot that's a half inch in diameter sits and rests against this template, it's always stitching a quarter inch away from the edge. And so it's nice to have these reference lines to indicate the needle position. That helps us to reposition the template to make the designs that we want. How this works, when we mark on our quilt the desired distance between each zigzag line, we may want to stitch one inch distance between each zigzag. So that means I would take the reference line and line up along the edge of that reference line that I drew on my quilt. So now I can stitch, slide the template, always lining up the reference line here and here, and then stitch. Line up the reference line here and here, and stitch. That would be the first row of zigzags. Then I come and I do the next one, always lining up the reference lines with what I marked on my quilt and I stitch. Line up this reference line and this one and I stitch. Slide the template down, always lining up the reference lines before stitching then I stitch. By marking a reference line on our quilt sandwich with a water soluble marker, we will prevent the stitching from going off in a weird direction. We want those zigzags to line up in a straight line and we need something to use for that. We can use the seam on our quilt. Pretend this is a seam. And I can line up the template, start stitching, slide the template, make sure the reference lines are lined up before I stitch, line them up again before I stitch. Once they're lined up, then I'm ready to stitch. So that's why we use the reference lines on our template. They help us line up the reference lines with either marks we place on our quilt for the desired design, or we can use the seams within our patchwork to line up the template. It really just depends on two things, what design you wanna stitch, and if the patchwork helps you to stitch that design. You can use the seams. If the patchwork doesn't help you, then you mark the quilt with a water soluble or erasable marking tool. I love the potential of this zigzag. The zigzag can be stitched in equal distances from each other or 
We can change the distance. It's really up to you and the design that you want to mark on your quilt. But like anything else, it requires practice. You know, I always say practice, practice, practice. And so just take a fat quarter. This is a fat quarter that's been cut in half. So you have two opportunities to make a nice design of zigzags. Vary the distance between the zigzags. Make them wider or make them tighter. Have fun, play around. So practice is not about being perfect. Practice is about learning. And the more you stitch, the more you're going to learn. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.